I just wanted to show a quick example here using Microsoft Excel and I've put in the formulas in this spreadsheet for calculating a, a series resonant circuit. You can see I've got the values at the top of the page in green and then in the orange or salmon color I've got the calculations towards the bottom of the page. Uh, at the top of the page you can see the formula and the data that it's referring to. So that's already set up correctly. And each of these formula down the page is set up to calculate the appropriate values in here. The thing that I really wanted to show you at the moment is, for example, if we wanted to change the values in our circuit to achieve a different bandwidth, one of the ways, instead of doing trial and error or doing manual reverse calculations or using Excel to be able to check calculations that you've done on paper, is under this part of the menu, what if analysis and goal seek. So it gives you an option. We're going to aim to set this value that it's highlighted to a new value for the bandwidth of 100. And it says, which data do you want to change to achieve that? I'm going to select that value for R. I'm going to try and make it change that. And then the computer will try some different values until it figures out what the correct one is. And this time it's done it really quickly. Sometimes it takes a couple of seconds. So it's figured out the value for R and we've achieved exactly the bandwidth that we wanted to achieve. So that's great. Sometimes it might not work. If we try this again, if we want to set that to 200 this time. And if we try and do it by changing the capacitance only, You can see it's counting through the number of attempts that it's doing. It's trying lots of different values for that one, and it couldn't find a solution. So it's given us an error message here. So that tells us that there's no direct relationship between that one variable of the capacitance to achieve the bandwidth. You're going to have to change more than one variable, which is a little bit harder to do with this feature. So if you are doing some calculations and you've got some data, this is a really useful way that you can check what happens if you're trying to achieve one particular outcome using this goal seek and selecting the values and defining what specific value that you want to have. So hopefully that helps you to use Excel to be able to check your manual calculations.